Hey, so this is just a video going over how to do uh, how to use Reddit for keyword research. Um, personally, Reddit is probably one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite ways to kind of learn more about my audience and uh, kind of get a better understanding of what what they're really looking to learn about. Um, I find when I use keyword research tools like Ahrefs, SEMrush, um, it really doesn't get to the bottom of the keyword that I want to target. Um, like let's say if I were to do keyword research around uh, running shoes, if I find that keyword in Ahrefs or SEMrush, it's really only going to tell me the uh, the search volume for that type of keyword. Uh, but really, it doesn't dig in deep into what users are are really trying to look at that are really trying to learn more to, more about. Um, so when I use Reddit, it's basically a way to take this a step further and really understand what my audience wants to learn, and then what I should be including in my content to kind of really serve, uh, really just match their intent, kind of really deliver on what they're looking for. Um, and, you know, in some cases, if I was looking at best running shoes, yeah, I could uh, use my own personal experience. I could do a Google search and see what competitors are ranking for it. I mean, obviously, we want to match the relevancy of that keyword with our content. Um, but I find if you want to at least, like, differentiate yourself from the competition and really kind of, like, deliver on the value of why users are coming to your page, I find Reddit is really a great way to um, kind of like get to the bottom of it and learn more about what they're really looking for. Um, so basically throughout this video, I'm going to go through a few uh, few ways you can use Reddit and uh, really kind of maximize its potential for finding uh, topics that would be relevant for you. And really, this can apply for any niche. Um, I mean, I mostly work with SaaS companies, but uh, even if you are doing SEO for runners or if you're doing SEO for uh, sports, B two C, e commerce. Uh, you can still find some pretty, some pretty nice gems in, in Reddit. Uh, so basically, just to start off. The first thing that I'm going to do is uh, use a site operator, and you can see here this is the uh, the main site that or the main operator that I'm going to use. It's just site and then colon, and then this is going to show me the um, the kind of like filter my search. So right now I only want to find posts that are underneath this r slash uh, SEO community. Uh, and you can see over on the right hand side, I have uh, some parameters, or I just have some queries that I'm trying to find within this community. Uh, so right now I have it set to SEO. So with this uh, search operator, this is basically, basically going to show me all of the posts uh, from the specific community that are talking about SEO. Um, and you can see in this case, we have quite a few options that we can go after. Um, and even just like even just not look or not even clicking on the result themselves, uh, I can already see that there's probably a few good topics that we can go after. Um, and like I said, this is really to see what our audience wants to know, and then what we can kind of use use to match within our content. So uh, you want to see if there's any common questions your audience is asking. Uh, you want to come to these communities and see how they're asking those questions, what they're trying to learn. Um, you can see what they're they're asking other people in the community. But I mean, even just to how, how to start with SEO for SaaS, that's a great topic right there. Um, if someone's looking to learn more about an SEO strategy for um, like for their SaaS product, um, sometimes you're going to have to to kind of like sift through some garbage that isn't going to be relevant. I mean, obviously, you're going to see a few that are basically pitching their their SEO services. You, you see this a lot on these communities, but there's going to be some where people are actually uh, looking to ask questions about SEO. And um, in some cases, it's going to take a little bit to find uh, what you're trying to look for. But even in this case, this is probably something good that you would want to consider. I mean, in my case, being some being a, a consultant for SaaS, if someone was looking up what is an appropriate, appropriate amount to pay an SEO agency, that's probably something that I would also want to rank for as well. Um, so not only are they going to come to Reddit, but then you can also assume that they're just in their initial discovery phase that they're also, um, I guess this is also a consideration a bit too. Uh, they're, they're basically going to look at all of the avenues to find, uh, just find the information that they're looking for. So if they're looking to learn uh, more about how much to pay an SEO agency, they're going to come to Reddit. They may go to a few other websites. And basically the goal is to um, be kind of like, uh, like a touch point along their journey. You should give them the information they need. You don't need to pitch them. Uh, but once they kind of come back to that ultimate decision, or once they're really deep in that consideration st uh, stage, they can at least remember that you were an option, and you'll kind of be, you won't be front of mind, but you'll at least be within their mind as an option to consider. 
Um, and another thing I just like to cons uh, another thing I like to recommend is at least if you find a topic like this, it might be a singular person that's searching for this, but if you want to copy this and then post uh, put this in this little parameter up here and then see what other um, like see if other people on the subreddit are talking about this like if um, if there's multiple posts of people kind of asking how much they should be paying an SEO agency or how involved their SEO agency should be, then you would ideally want to have content for uh, that type of search as well. So another way you can do um, keyword research for Reddit, this is going to be a more um, automate, automated process. Uh, personally, this is probably my favorite way to go about it, uh, just because it makes it really easy. Uh, it makes it really easy for me. Uh, but you can actually use Python to scrape uh, posts from Reddit uh, using specific parameters. So this is the code that I have set up, or this is the Python code that I have set up for my, my type of search. Uh, if you want to get started with this, the first thing you're going to have to do is uh, download this uh, prof. This is basically going to give you access to the Reddit, or is going to set you up to access the Reddit API. And then you're also going to have to create an ID, a secret, and then a user agent as well. Please don't steal my information. Um, but then down below, this is where you can enter in the custom data to find what you're looking for. So you can see in this case, my subreddit name is set to r slash SEO. Um, so in this case, it won't be um, it won't be the r and then the slash. It's just the community name. Uh, you can set a time range for it. So in this case, I just have it set to the last five years. And then you can also include a query for what you're trying to look for as well. Um, so in this case, I have it set to the title. So instead of it just being found within the content, I have it set to the title. So I know kind of the the overall umbrella topic that people are just to like niche it or narrow it down a little bit more. Um, and I recommend also including this little uh, question mark at the end of your at the end of your code, which is basically going to filter your results when you do this type of search. So if I have it set to r slash SEO, looking at topics or uh, posts that contain Google Search Console, then I also want those posts to end with a question mark as well. So these are questions that people are asking. Uh, so this is the code I have. I will copy this and paste it in the comments, but once you have this uh, pro installed, you have the uh, code, you have it customized, you can run it. And then this is basically going to show you all of the, the posts that uh, people are talking about. I have an, uh, a limit set to it, set to 50. I mean, obviously this didn't pump out 50 here, uh, so you can feel free to play around with it. Um, but you should be able to get some decent uh, topic information from here. Uh, obviously this isn't going, we're not gonna want to target every single topic from here. But there are some options or some opportunities that we do want to consider, like can't see Google Search Console search results, uh, Google Search Console error, Google Search Console not updating, Google Search Console not updating. So this seems to be a common pain point that people are having with Google Search Console. Um, so if this is something that you want to have visibility for and that you could help out as well, you can at least notice that this is a trend that people are, are talking about on that specific subreddit where um, maybe if they're not having their answers or their questions answered on Reddit, you can at least have a post that kind of takes a little bit of a deeper dive talking about uh, what they're really trying to look for. Uh, and I recommend once you are doing this research, I would just recommend copying the post and then looking at the original subreddit just to see how people are talking about it. Um, so like what if, if their question was answered, if there's any additional pro uh, questions or uh, honestly, just what the issue is overall, because it, sometimes it can just be uh, the performance data that's not populating. It can be the coverage report data that's not populating or crawl data that's not populating. So uh, just by looking at the report, you can at least see what the actual issue is and uh, what you can at least work on fixing. So another favorite of mine is also using the subret stat tool. Uh, and basically, this is going to be a full database on uh, pretty much every subreddit that's out there. Um, and it's basically giving you data on uh, growth of the channels, what are the most popular subreddits out there, which channels are seeing the most um, subscriber increases, uh, which channels are the most engaged with comments. But if you come up here, you can actually filter it based on uh, the subreddit that you're trying to look for. So in this case, let's just go back to r slash SEO. And this is basically going to give me all of the data that I need about the um, about that specific community, like how many subscribers they have, average comments per day. Um, yeah, pretty much those probably are the only two you'd really care about. 
Um, you can also see top submissions. So if you want to see uh, what they're talking about, what are the submissions that people are resonating with the most. Um, in some cases, these aren't really questions that I'm necessarily going to care about. Like these are mostly people complaining about SEO. And if you've been on the r slash SEO subreddit, you know that they like to complain a lot. And as someone that's also on the r slash SEO subreddit, I also like to complain a lot. So um, yeah, I, would, I, I probably would avoid this one. That's why I like to use Python, because you can at least uh, filter out all the complaints and really look for uh, questions that people have. But you can also see trend data, like subscribers, if they've been falling off. And if they still have it, they do. You can see all of the relevant subreddits to uh, r slash SEO. So, if people are in r slash SEO, they're more likely to be in marketing, entrepreneur, small business, freelance, and so on. Um, so if you run out of ideas here, like if you do all of your, your keyword research with r slash SEO, you at least have more opportunities to try and uh, mine data and find common trends that are kind of bleh, find common pain points that people have um, within these subreddits. And I believe there was, there used to have an entity section where you could see the com or the most common words that people were using on those uh on the subreddit but it seems like they might have gone rid of it uh subreddits by keywords so closely keywords oh, okay so that's just keywords uh they used to have it but it was really interesting but you can also if you wanted to see more data or which subreddits are more connected you can also use this uh web server here which is the uh i'm not even going to pronounce that right but the onbanka github um, I will also post that in the comments. Basically, this is going to show you the same thing, which are showing um, the con uh, subreddits that are most connected to the one that you're researching. So if I'm doing SEO, there's also big SEO, tech SEO, blog, blogging, WordPress, PPC, marketing, digital marketing. So you have a lot of subreddits that you can go after. And same thing, if you want to take a deeper dive, like let's say I just wanted to click on marketing, then that's going to change the outlook a little bit, and it's going to show me more connected subreddits that are based off uh, based off what I was looking for there. And you can see, even see on the right hand side that they like to um, they'll actually save some some posts for you. So even if you want to filter through here, you can see which posts are are trending, which ones are the top rated of all time, and you can see these are again more complaints for the most part. Um, what's the best free uh, free alternative for Semrush? But if you also wanted an easy alternative, you can actually, you can pretty much use Reddit, the actual Reddit itself for most keyword research. So I, I have a few ways that I like to go about this, but um, really the way that I like to, to do it, if I am going to use uh, like the actual subreddit to, to find out this information, uh, you can sort by top, come here, and then you can see which posts are trending of all time. Um, so you can see what people are talking about here. You can go to, uh, if you go to hot, which is basically trending, uh, sometimes they have community forums where people are talking about uh, different products, ideas, pain points. And you can see in most cases that people are pretty much uh, pitching their product for the most part. But if you're back to using that running example, if your target audience is running, then you could use r slash uh, running to really see what your community is talking about. Like if they have a shoe they're not able to find, if um, they're looking for marathon tips, like really information that can tie in your product that you would also want to create content as around as well. Um, and the benefit to this as well is that you could really zero in on what their pain points are. So if you're going after a runner and um, they're not really finding the information that they're looking for, in most cases, they're going to directly list out what specific problems they have. And then that's basically your opportunity instead of creating, you know, generic content using all of the other competitors that are out there, just kind of reusing the way, reusing the same content over and over again, you can at least personalize it to the person that's actually looking for this information and um, kind of stand out from the crowd. So you're still matching the relevancy, but still differentiating yourself from other results at the same time. So I don't usually use the community uh, section just because the SaaS, like I said, it's a lot of people just promoting them their, themselves, but still a good option to have. And then you can actually use Reddit. Uh, Reddit actually has a search bar feature that you can use as well. So it's very similar to the um, to the site operator that I showed you guys before. But if you come to uh, the specific subreddit and then type in the keyword that you want to look up, then it's going to show you all of the different uh, 
types of uh, of posts that you can find using that site site operator. So what's an appropriate amount to pay an SEO agency? How to uh, how to SEO your SaaS easily? Do you guys own your SEO? So really, there's a lot of topics to consider here. Um, I think in some cases, if you even add a, oh, I think if you add a question mark, it should show you um, yeah should show you different questions that people have specifically about SEO. So um, what are your favorite SEO hacks? Uh, find your next idea using an SEO technique. Um, is SEO dead? That's a common one that we see. Um, so really, if you have that question mark, now you're actually diving in deep to people that are, um, that these are likely pain points or things that they're trying, that they want to learn more about. And then you can kind of uh, use this to kind of capitalize on the information that they're looking for. And then lastly, we have uh, Ahrefs. So if, you've, if you have access to Ahrefs or SEMrush, um, I recommend trying this out too. But using this, we can actually see all of the keywords that are uh, ranking from specific subreddits. So I can actually remove this community to just have it uh, show Reddit as a whole, but just to kind of like narrow down my focus, uh, these are all of the keywords that rank specifically from the, the SAS or the SAS community, or r slash SAS. Um, and you can see in some cases, these are uh, alternative articles, um, people learning, to, uh, trying to learn more about specific products. And we've seen in, we've seen in recent months that Google has actually been um, prioritizing Reddit more uh, in the search results. And a lot of the times it's because people are really, instead of wanting to read a company, like a company talking about themselves or a competitor talking about another competitor, they really want to learn more from uh, people who are actually kind of like in the in the trenches using these tools. So it's kind of a way to mix the uh, the tools and uh, user generated content so they can really find what they're looking for. Um, and in this case, when they're coming to an article like Intercom Alternatives, they're really coming here to learn from people who use those tools, find out how they like it, if they'd recommend it, if there's anything else they would use. So you have a lot more access to um, really access to information that people are really trying to look for. Um, but in this case, if you want to make your uh, search a little bit more specific, you can enter a keyword parameter, which will um, then show you all of the keywords that rank specifically from this uh, community. So I did SEO, so it, it seemed like it filtered it out quite a bit. Um, none of these topics are really ones that I would want to focus on, but uh, let's just say, for example, we remove uh, the community and we're just looking at uh, Reddit as a whole. We're going to see that we have quite a few opportunities for us to go after, um, actually about 14,000 in this case. So if you want to filter it a little bit more, I would just recommend adding a additional keyword filter. In this case, I'm just going to do how because I still want that, that question format. So this is now going to give me, uh, it actually filtered the list quite a bit. But this is now going to show me some uh, decent keywords that we could possibly go after. Um, and you can see in this case, some of these are pretty competitive for the most part. Um, I'm generally not a fan of using the keyword difficulty tool, but uh, just for, just in this case, I want to look at some of the keywords that aren't typically talked about. Uh, so some of the things that we could go after is like how to become an SEO freelancer, how to find SEO clients. Like if you're um, if you're a person that helps SEO agencies grow, this is a topic that you'd probably want to rank for just to, to show people how they can get SEO clients and kind of show them that this is something that you can help them out with as well, how to track, track SEO rankings, how to start an SEO business. Um, and even if I remove this parameter, I like to at least set a word count. So you can see in some cases, these are going to be really short keywords like Reddit SEO. But if I add this word count, I should have access to a little bit more, um, a little bit better topics that we could go after. So in this case, we have best SEO company for small businesses. Um, let's see, top SEO companies for small businesses. It's the same one, I guess. Uh, is Yoast SEO premium worth it? White label SEO services for agencies. So we really have a whole lot of opportunities that we can go after. Um, and even if you want to filter all of these out, because some of these are not necessarily rank, uh, relevant, you can add additional uh, rules to include as well. So if you want to add a rule like how, when, why, best, you can pretty much add as many as you want. Um, but yeah, this is, to me, this is probably the easiest way to kind of get like a, a kind of like a bird's eye view of all the topics that Reddit, Reddit is ranking for. And then if there's any topics that we could go after as well. 
Um, and like I said, these are topics that Reddit is currently ranking for. So in most cases, we can kind of zero in on that, that page, see what people are talking about, see what people want to learn, and then kind of use that to create our content. Um, but yeah, that was uh, those were the tips that I had. Uh, like I said, you can use the site operator, which is pretty easy. Uh, you can use the Python script, which I will drop in the co uh, comments. You can use uh, Reddit, pretty much just use the interface of Reddit, or you can use Ahrefs or SEMrush if you have access to those tools. But like I said, um, if you really if you really do want to start with uh, keyword research that actually matters, you probably want to start with Reddit or at least um, just talking with your audience in the first place. Just so instead of using a keyword research tool to learn about them, you're actually getting uh, firsthand information about them and what uh, really what really their pain points are and what what they're trying to learn about. Uh, so appreciate you taking this time taking the time to watch the video and uh, hope you found it helpful.